Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Chapter 3 from Wings of Fire by APJ Abdul Kalam. Now, in this chapter, Abdul Kalam says that he was traveling from South to North India to attend the two interviews. And while he was traveling, he was attracted by the nature which was surrounding and he was watching all that through the window from his compartment. And at that time, he thought how all our country had been influenced by foreign influences. Like in 1500 BC, we had the Aryans coming into India through the mountain passes. Then in the 10th century, we have the Muslims who came but later settled down and became a part of our country. And after that, many empires have ruled India. But South India was not that much affected by these foreign invasions because it was protected by Vindhya and Satpura mountain ranges. And also it was nurtured by the rivers Narmada, Tapti, Mahanadi, Godavari and Krishna. Now, to go to Delhi, he had to pass all these places and then reach there. And once when he went to Delhi, he went and attended the defense uh, interview first. And uh, the interview questions were very normal. What he knew only they asked. So he said all that. But in his mind, he always wanted to be a pilot and he wanted to fly. And therefore, he went for this Air Force selection. And there he felt um, that they did not concentrate much on your intelligence but they concentrated more on your physical fitness and in your communication skills. And since he was very tired and nervous and uh, really he was so tense that uh, he did not do that much well. And uh, actually 25 people had come for the interview. In that 25 people, Abdul Kalam was 9th. But they selected only 8 people. Therefore, he was totally disappointed and he thought that his uh, dream of joining the Air Force had slipped away from him uh, and he did not want uh, know what to do and um, he decided to go to Rishikesh. He went to Rishikesh, he took a bath in Ganga, felt the purity of the water and then he went to Shivananda Ashramam and as he was entering itself, he had a very good vibration entering into his body and he met Swami Shivananda and when he saw him, he felt as though he was looking at Buddha itself. Uh, and uh, Swamiji looked at him and he introduced himself and when he introduced himself he saw that there was no change in the expression from Swamiji when he told his name because from his name itself we will know that he is a Muslim. What Swamiji asked him is why are you sad and Kalam was really uh, uh, taken away that he had understood that Kalam was very sad. And he told him like how he had applied for Indian Air Force and how he was not uh, selected and his passion was to fly. Hearing all that, Swamiji just smiled and told him that, uh, see, whatever comes in your life, just accept it. Maybe your destiny is not that you have to become an Air Force pilot, but something is destined for you. God has plans for everyone. So don't think about this failure. Because your life will lead you to the path where you have to go. And whatever God has decided for you, that will come to you. So surrender yourself to the wish of God. And hearing that, Kalam felt relieved. He felt that uh, this is the fact and this is the truth that he has to accept. And so from there, with a very peaceful mind, he went to Delhi to find out what was the result of his interview. And when he went there, he was handed over his appointment letter. And they had asked him to join immediately. He was appointed as a senior scientific assistant with a basic salary of 200 rupees, 250 rupees per month. Now he knew that his destiny was to become a person who will design the airplanes. And all this happened in 1958. There he joined in that place. He understood maybe he will not be flying the airplanes, but he will be making the airplanes that are going to fly. And he was in charge of designing and uh, his designs really got appreciation from the director, Dr. Neela Kandan. And uh, soon they sent him to Kanpur for uh, training and he went there. And uh, Kanpur he found is a very populated city 
because it is an industrial town so many people from other places had come there it was a total contrast from rameshwaram and even food he said uh, from morning till night it was only potatoes uh, potatoes served there but anyway he had to live there and then later on he returned to delhi and now he was uh, uh, given a team where the four of them have to design uh, aircrafts and he started doing it he really loved the job and later on they started a new office in bangalore and he was sent there and bangalore was a place which is in total contrast to kanpur but anyway he felt that the peace of rameshwaram was not found anywhere but uh, he stayed there and he used to spend his time going to the parks and uh, shopping that is the way he went because for the first uh, year there was not much work in bangalore but slowly slowly the work uh, load started increasing and uh, they wanted to design an indian made uh, aircraft so they all had a team and uh, he was asked to be the leader of the team and uh, so they all were given 3 years time to design a new engineering model and uh, he started concentrating more on that because he was very sure that we can make a flying machine successfully so he put all his efforts and he was trying to make the best out of uh, what was in his mind but the problem is they did not have anyone to guide them because this is the first time they are designing an aircraft and at that time he thought like uh, he thought about the right brothers uh, because even they had only 7 years experience of uh, fixing bicycles but they were able to make the first aeroplane so what abdul kalam thought is maybe we do not have anyone uh, to guide us but definitely with the limited knowledge which we have we can do wonders and slowly slowly as they started doing the work things started coming in place and uh, at that time the defense minister was vk krishnan who showed a lot of encouragement in their work and whenever he used to come to bangalore he will come and see the progress here and he used to encourage them a lot and uh, abdul kalam was motivated by him and he says just like how my father when he is entering into a mosque will remove his slippers outside and enter the mosque in the same way whenever i go to my assembly shop i will leave all my problems outside and i will dedicate myself to my work and of course his seniors all did not encourage him much they looked at them he was an easily target they used to pass worst comments and that time also uh, abdul kalam used to think about the uh, comments which were passed on the right brothers and he recalls a poem which told about how they overcame everything and uh, brought this first aeroplane into the world so with the same dedication he also went uh, into his work fully and uh, at that time uh, when mr krishnan came almost his work was over he showed him what he had designed and uh, krishnan asked him so many questions because these will be the questions which are asked by others and kalam answered everything correctly and he was totally satisfied and he was very sure that kalam will definitely bring the machine into work and uh, they named the first machine as nandi nandi was named after nandi bhagavan uh, the nandi before lord shiva and uh, after seeing the work completed he asked abdul kalam um, to take him for a ride uh, in the mission and of course uh, there was a group captain in the minister's troop who thought that uh, kalam if he is going to pilot means it is not good for the safety of the minister so he wanted to pilot the fish and sorry the airplane but kalam wanted to do it on his own and seeing his enthusiasm krishnan menon said let kalam take me for the demonstration and uh, kalam was very happy and he took uh, krishnan menon uh, for a ride and uh, krishnan menon was so very happy and he said continue your work and when i come for the next time take me for the second ride but what happened is uh, due to some reasons uh, he was not able to take him for the second ride because He, when uh, krishnan meni did was uh, not in the office like he, another person became the defense minister and uh, what happened is um, the persons who came after krishnan meni did not show much interest in this uh, creating your own uh, aircrafts in india even now kalam says we are buying aircrafts from other countries uh, 
and at that time all he was totally disappointed because he had put his heart and soul in constructing this uh, mission and he wanted india to make its own missions that was his uh, wish but it did not happen but that time he thought about what pakshi shastri had said seek the truth and the truth shall set you free and even even bible it has said ask and you shall receive but he says that did not happen to me but anyway i had to be satisfied with uh, what i had done and uh, what happened is uh, he was continuing his work and one day dr mitrahata said that there will be a visitor coming to uh, meet you so be prepared and he also asked about the condition of the aircraft and kalam said yes sir it is in a good condition we can fly it and as said the next day a tall handsome bearded man came and he spoke to kalam and uh, kalam understood from the way he spoke he is a man of great thinking and had a good knowledge about uh, this field and uh, he asked kalam to take him for a ride and he took him for a 10 minutes ride of course it was not um, they did not fly very high they literally floated in the air but uh, the questions which the guest asked was really very uh, Uh, knowledgeable and kalam felt very happy that he have was uh, able to answer all the questions he asked and before going only he came to know that it was professor mgk menon and uh, mgk menon was the director of tata institute of fundamental research at that time and after menon went within one week he got a call from uh, indian uh, committee for uh, space research they had asked him to come for an interview for the post of rocket engineer and kalam was really very happy he went to bombay he attended the interview and um, he did not actually know what sort of questions they are going to ask uh, but he was very sure that he is going to do what he knows and at that time only uh, the words of lakshmana shastri from bhagavad gita came into his mind uh, and uh, he reminded himself that the best way to win was to not need to win we should not be in any tension we must be relaxed and free of doubt uh, so he decided that he will accept things as they come because he did not plan mgk menon's visit he did not plan for this interview all this happened in his life so what has to happen in his life will definitely happen this was the state of his mind and when he went his interview was conducted by dr vikram sarabhai along with professor mgk menon and mr saraf and uh, when he entered the room itself he felt that warmth and friendliness from dr sarabhai he sarabha was a person with no arrogance or anything he was so very good to him and even the questions did not uh, were not that very complicated he did not try to um, find out uh, or measure the knowledge of dr abdul kalam he only wanted to see how he was filled with passion what he will be willing to study what he will be willing to explore here and uh, Uh, kalam was totally really felt great about attending the interview they asked him to stay back for a two days uh, to know the results but the next day itself they told that he was uh, selected as a rocket engineer for space research and this was a big uh, thing for kalam because it was as though his dream was coming true and um, he was observed there he felt very happy and here when he was working only he understood that there was a lot of difference between working in the defense ministry and here because what is your post did not matter here because no one was hostile towards another person they were all very friendly they felt it is a team and that team has to work and uh, there was no negative comments about anyone's work and he was so very happy and at that time only uh, they planned to set up a rocket launching station at thumba the thumba is in kerala in trivandrum and uh, they wanted uh, that place because they felt that place is very close to the earth's magnetic equator but what happened is the place which they had selected it was about 600 acres and in that area only there was also a very big church and uh, they did not know how they can acquire that place but at that time the collector of trivandrum was k madhavan nayar he spoke with um, uh reverend dr diraira who was the bishop of trivandrum in 1962 and uh, they got the place and uh, they started the space center there and uh, indian space museum is also there and abdul kalam used uh, the prayer room as his laboratory and uh, the bishop's room uh, as his design and drawing room and he was very happy 
soon they sent him to america for a six months training in nasa and before he go to, could go to america he went to rameshwaram he told about the opportunity which he has got to his father his father was so pleased for him he took him to the mosque and organized for a namaz and this namaz was like a thanksgiving to god and when they were doing the prayers abdul kalam could feel the god's power flowing through him he could understand the uh, functions of the prayer why people prayed how prayers can make one person's mind and body and life successful and uh, for all what he had got he thanked to god and with, and uh, along with them jalaluddin and samsuddin came to bombay to give him a send off and this was the time uh, first time they coming to a big city like bombay like how abdul kalam is going from bombay to from india to new york uh, they also felt very different but kalam says that jalaluddin and samsuddin are very optimistic and positive uh, people and at uh, that time only he thought how these two people had been uh, an influence in his life and before he could go jalaluddin said asad we have always loved you and we believe in you and we'll always be proud of you and seeing the purity of the faith tears welled up in kalam's eyes and kalam was much moved by their love and affection with this kalam ends the third chapter if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you